the sun will rise. Episode 2 Good afternoon. Detective Emerenko. So how is she doing? The girl was on the verge of dying. It took a lot of work. I had to use extra anesthesia. What are her chances? Everything will be fine. Or not. You're such an optimist. What else can I say? Look, we have done our job. The rest is out of our control. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, Mr. Yevgeny. I'm here. Yeah, the surgery's over. They say they shall live. Wait a second. She had her passport on her. So I raised her. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Anya Fedorchuk. Let me see. A local. Well, I'm working on it now. Right. Yes. Okay, got it. Sidorenko, listen up. Guard her room until the morning. Then I'll send someone else. Don't let anyone in without the investigator's permission. Nobody. In a couple of days, she'll be better. We'll move her to the medical block of the pre-trial detention center. Copy, sir. What about the guys? Any news? Furlom's conscious. Nichiporenko still in a coma. It's her fault, so keep an eye on her. Is that clear? Go on. Yes? I'm going now. Yes, yes, I'm working on it. Where are you going? To see Anya Fedorchuk. You're not allowed in. What do you mean I'm not allowed? Who are you? And who are you? I didn't sleep all night. I called hospitals, morgues. I couldn't find her. You can't <laughs> see her without permission. The investigator must approve it. What's going on here? Uh, why are the police here? Get out! Let me in! One more step and I'll arrest you. Is that clear? Direct all of your questions to Investigator Levishov. What is going on? Where can I find him? What department? The 25th. Yes? I want an explanation. I'm Anya Fedorchuk's aunt. This is some kind of arbitrariness. Why can't I see her? Look, first of all, calm down. Secondly, have a seat. What happened? Please tell me. She has no one else. I've been taking care of her since she was a child. She's like my daughter. I understand. But unfortunately, it's not good news. Two cops were injured because of your niece. One of them is okay now, fortunately. The other one is between life and death. What are you talking about? Your niece stole someone's car and driving at an unacceptable speed. She didn't stop or even slow down as the police were instructing her to do, and unfortunately the result was a very serious accident with tragic consequences. What are you talking about? That's not possible. It's all a lie. Not Anya. Anya doesn't even know how to drive a car. Which means that you could be the reason for the accident. Thanks to investigator Kazantseva, who miraculously survived, we were able to establish the main circumstances of this case. This morning, I received a detailed, an exhaustive report, with pictures even. Your niece is obviously guilty, and you shouldn't pretend she's a victim. I don't believe it. What do you say to that? What? You should teach her better manners, better ones.
I must see her. She told you that everything's okay. Are you sure you need to go? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, come on. She won't tell me the truth. She must have made something up so I wouldn't worry. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, buddy. God bless. I hope Mrs. Svetlana isn't doing as bad as you think. I sure hope so. Okay, guys. Thanks for understanding. See you soon. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Good luck. Hi, Vika. Maxim! You, you finally got through. Didn't Mother call you? I mean, Mrs. Svetlana? She did. And what did she say? And nothing else? Just that she'll have a serious conversation with you. You're going to see her right now? Hello? Hello, Maxim? I can't hear you! I'm so dead. Anya. <laughs> My dear. You're alive. That's the main thing. Anya. What happened? Ira, this is awful. They want to blame me for something that I didn't do. In fact, it was Vika, the one who was driving the car. Remember I told you she's Maxim's childhood friend? I found out she's totally in love with him. I didn't know that, and I got into her car. She was driving like a mad woman. Kept threatening me that she'd kill me if I didn't give up on Maxim. What are you saying? I asked her to stop, but she didn't listen to me. She kept going. She sped up even more. And then the police. All I remember is that... Vika was desperately holding the wheel. And we drove into a patrol car. Then darkness. So that means that it's Vika's fault. Anya, why isn't she on the report? Or in the pictures? It looks like you were driving. I don't know. But I do. There was also an investigator inside that patrol car. It's her report and her pictures. She wants to put you in jail instead of this Vika girl. But I'll find out what really happened. Ira, I want to ask you for something. Yes. Could you find Maxim for me? And tell him everything? I really want to see him. Anya, look. I don't have time for that. Please, Aunt Ira. Well, all right. How can I find him? Do you know his address? Sadovaya Street 5, Apartment 3. This is how his mother taught him when he was a kid. Please find him. Tell him everything and warn him about Vika. I'll find him. But I'm going to deal with the investigator first. Are you Kazanseva? The duty officer said you were. Yes, I am. And who are you? Explain it to me. 
Why you and Vika are setting up my niece, Anya. She wasn't driving that car, and you know it. I don't know what, Vika, you're talking about and what you mean by setting up. That niece of yours was driving drunk when the accident happened. <sighs> Anya is my niece, and Anya doesn't drink at all. She has her own life principles. Yeah? Then why did I smell alcohol on her breath? You must forgive me, but your dead niece was a criminal, and you have to come to terms with this and just admit it. But she's not dead. She survived. She had surgery and is recovering now. Survived? I have to go now, and you had better stop following me. Otherwise, it will be regarded as putting pressure on a witness. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find out the truth. Mom, are you okay? Maxim, why aren't you with your friends? I told you that I was all right. What? I was worried about you. Let's go to my office. That's Maxim. The investigator is Maxim's mother. Mom, are you sure you're okay? Yes, wait, Maxim, wait. Mr. Igor, this is Cousin Steva. Yes, I feel much better. So tell me, did that girl survive? So then it's true. But I couldn't feel her pulse. Yes, can you tell me if there was any alcohol in her blood? There must have been quite a bit. They couldn't find anything? Nothing at all? No, that's it. Mom, let's talk tonight then. You seem to be real busy right now. Maxim, tell me, have you been dating Vika for a long time? And how serious is it? I don't get it. I've never dated her. We're just friends. What are you talking about? Why? Just friends? Well, yeah. Mom, I actually have a girlfriend. I'll definitely introduce her to you. She's very nice. So she was lying to me. Who? Mom. <laughs> Mom. Mommy? But what, what is it? Mom, what's wrong? Mom. Mom, what is it? <sighs> Hello, ambulance? Do you want to eat? No. Vika, why are you leaving? What shall I tell your father? He's coming back from his business trip today. I told you, Mom, I need to go to think about something. But where do you need to go? Please tell me, Vika, I'm worried. To the village, to my grandma's house, very far away from here. To where? To your grandma's? Yes. Don't say a word to anyone, okay? I want to be alone. Fine, I won't. Okay, I'll wait for a taxi outside. Oh my god. Why is she like this? Yeah? Where are you? The second one. Yes, I said it's the second entrance. Hello, Vika. Hello. Is your mom home? My heart is hurting. I'd like to talk to her. She's home. So where are you going? Is school already over? Mom is leaving soon, so you need to hurry up. Oh, well, you're so secretive, Vika. Where are She's you? She's always been so difficult. So is it you, Vika? Yeah, who are you? I'm Anya's aunt. Tell me, why did you set up my niece? You caused the accident. It was you. And then you ran away. It's all lies. I have no time. Wait, I said wait! It's all your fault. Stop denying it. Go away! I'm going to report you. You're crazy! Just get out you of here! You will pay for this. Do you understand? I'll never go. let you get away Hurry with up, this. Go! Well, everything is clear here. A bad headache, loss of consciousness, and other signs, and the uh, diagnosis is a hemorrhagic stroke caused by hypertension. 
Wait, so is that really bad? A stroke is always bad. By the way, paralysis and memory problems are possible. But will she be okay? My friend's mother treats stroke. She's the CEO of the hospital. Incoming call, Maxim. Hello, Vika? Uh, Maxim, have you come back yet? Vika, I, I, I'm in trouble. My mom had a stroke. She's unconscious. Are you serious? How did it happen? I came to her office. She started asking me about you. Wait, what? Maybe someone told her about us. I don't know. Is that what made her feel bad? Yeah, she fainted right after that. <sighs> what a nightmare. Vika, could it be because of the accident? What accident, Maxim? I don't know exactly. She had an accident on Saturday. It seems there were victims. She didn't tell me any details. Where are they taking your mom? To the hospital, the intensive care unit. Okay, Maxim, don't worry. Everything will be fine. I'll go right now and I'll ask my mom to take care of Mrs. Svetlana. Do you hear me? Everything will be fine. I hope so. Thank you, Vika. Turn the car back around. Were you able to find Maxim? Hello, my sweetie. You're getting better. I can tell. I am. What about Maxim? I couldn't find him, Anya. He's disappeared. What do you mean he disappeared? Well, I'll try again later. Enough of that now. What's gonna happen to me now? We must hope that. The truth will be revealed. I will talk with the investigator again. He doesn't believe me, and certainly won't believe you. What about that woman investigator? That woman really didn't want to talk to me. Listen, we will succeed. We're strong. I was so naive. Why did I get in that car? What for? Be quiet. That's enough. That's enough. Please be quiet, my dear. Excuse me. I'm coming in. Here, file this. What do you have? Here's the driver's number. By the way, the car hasn't been reported stolen yet. It's strange. Let's see. Hey, listen. This Anna Fedorchuk keeps talking about some girl, Vika, a friend of her boyfriend, Maxim. She doesn't know their last names, which is suspicious. She says that this Vika threatened to kill her if she didn't leave Maxim alone. She said that it was Vika's fault that Vika was the one driving. Kind of a woman's issue. Mrs. Kazantsevis's report says something else. It states that Fedorchuk was sitting behind the wheel. The fact is that Mrs. Kazantseva is a professional. She couldn't be mistaken. Well, yeah. Plus, the pictures show that Anya was driving the car. It's a pity that there was nothing left after the explosion. No, no. There was definitely no Vika there. Of course not. Everyone likes to tell stories. They think we're clowns here. I'll take care of it, boss. Good. Right hemispheric stroke. That's where the hematoma is, you see? I do. Open trepanation for removal? Give me her test results. Well, judging by these results, there are no congenital vascular disorders, no arterial aneurysm, no venous malformation. I think we'll have to perform surgery. Let's try to dissolve the hematoma. Where am I? Where am I? How are 
are you? Hello, Svetlana. Don't you recognize me? No? We lived in the same house for a long time. I don't remember. What happened to me? Everything is fine. Don't you worry, we will take good care of you, okay? Get ready for the surgery. Thanks. Goodbye. Hello, Stefanich. Listen. They said that the water will be off all day tomorrow. Did you know that? Well, you certainly can't escape your destiny. Well, you're a fatalist, Stefanich. Where's your car? Did you sell it? What do you say? Your spot's been empty since Saturday. I don't get it. I don't understand. Hello? The police? Chris Ninsky Anton, that's me. Stolen. Well, I, I just came back from a business trip. Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope they didn't crash it. Well, do you need a ride? Uh, no, no. As you wish, then. had hypertension for a long time. Her blood pressure's out of whack. She even took pills for some time. Let's hope for the best. Maxim, you know, I feel really bad as well. I also really want your mom to be okay. <laughs> it was so unexpected. It's all because of her job, and I'm sure the accident had something to do with it. That damn stress. Are you sure you don't want tea? <laughs> oh. Everything is fine. How is she? Have a seat. Don't worry. Your mother is a very strong woman. We injected thrombolytic with a catheter. Mm -hmm. It's a drug that helps to dissolve blood clots, and nothing is threatening her life anymore, okay? Thank you very much. But you should know that a stroke is very serious. Your mother has a partial paralysis on her left side. She may have oddities. Absent-mindedness, depressive states, even inappropriate behavioral reactions. Maxim. Mm -hmm. All this is aggravated by the fact that Mrs. Svetlana practically lost her memory. <sighs> Mrs. Svetlana has lost her memory? As for today, yes. But let's hope she'll be okay, you hear? Mm -hmm. Um, do you think that Maxim and I can see her? Five minutes only. Thank Remember, you. she is very weak. Maxim, wait for me. My son. Maxim. You're here. Hey, Mom. Do you recognize me? It's all right, son. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. Mrs. Svetlana, do you remember me? I'm Vika. Do you remember? Vaguely. What do you remember? Maxim told me that you had an accident. An accident? 
What accident? I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything, son. Mom, you're gonna get better. I promise you will. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. I love you, Mom. I love you too, son. Need help? No, thanks. Well, I'm glad you didn't go to your grandma's. Maxim needs your help now, now that he's alone. Yes. There is no one to help him except me. I'm the closest person that he has. Come here, sweetie. Let's have dinner together, OK? OK? Anton, you're back home already? Dad? Huh? <laughs> yes, I'm already back. And okay. I was called to the investigator's office. To the investigator? What for? I'll break the news to you. It's wonderful news. Our car was stolen, and they crashed it. And they burned it. It's such creativity, huh? What? Want some water? It was paid for. You know how much money I've invested into that car? I changed the disc, installed the new engine. I didn't sleep at night watching over it. Do you know who did it? Uh, the investigator said someone named Anna Fedorchuk. I saw her picture. I've never seen her before. She's a young girl. They'll give me more details later after they're done with their investigation. But that girl should pay for everything. She will pay. She will definitely pay for everything. Max! Hello. Hello. Why are you here so early? Don't tell me you want to go jogging too. Hey. What's up? Well, my mom had a stroke. I spent the whole night in the hospital. I'm going for her medicine. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear. Hang in there. Thank you, bro. I'm trying. What about Anya? Is she helping you? Mm -mm. I can't get through. Her phone is out of the coverage area. I think about her all the time. Well, if you constantly think about her, that's already a diagnosis, bro. <laughs> yeah. Although, maybe she decided to break up with you. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're really helpful. <laughs> Everything seemed to be fine. I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe something's wrong with her phone. Do you know where she lives? Yeah. Well, when you have time, go there and talk to her. It's better than going crazy thinking about her. Okay, I gotta go. I hope your mom feels better. Thanks. If you need anything, just give me a call. Thanks, See you Alex. soon. See you around, bro. Aramenko. Hey, good morning. I've got something. Uh, Mr. Krasnitsky. The owner of the stolen car has a daughter. Her name is Vika. Yeah. The address of the residence coincides with Anya Fedorchuk's testimony. Do me a favor, talk to this Vika. Find out if they really knew each other. Yeah, right, now. Uh-huh. Okay, talk to you later. Police station. I'll come to the hospital after class. Yeah, okay. By the way, I called your grandma, and I told her... Not to wait for you. Yeah, okay. How does my hair Looks look? Looks good. Good, <laughs> good Have morning. Have a nice day. Vika Krasniskaya? Yes, and you? I'm from the police about the car. Uh, excuse me. My husband has told you everything already. What do you want from Vika? I want to ask her a few questions. Do you mind? Tell me, Miss Vika. Could it be that you had some involvement in the car accident? What do you mean? Involvement. Miss Ania Fedorchuk claims that you were involved in the accident. Fedorchuk, Fedorchuk, um, no, I don't remember. It's possible I met her at school or the university. Uh, but I have nothing to do with the accident. That's nonsense. 
Well, what were you doing on Saturday? Do you remember? Um, wait, Vika. She was at home. Vika was home all day Saturday. She was in bed with a fever. Am I right? Exactly. I'm a doctor. I can confirm that. I have nothing to do with that. You want to know something, sir? All of this is wrong on so many levels. We are the victims. We are not the criminals. It was our car that was stolen and then burned. Are you trying to make us the guilty party here? No, I just have to check all versions. Now it turns out that the suspected girl is trying to avoid punishment. It looks like she's guilty. Have a nice day. Goodbye. You saw that? He was about to blame you. I have no words. Don't worry about it, Mom. Bye, see you. Goodbye. How's Anya doing? At the hospital block of the detention center. It's impossible to talk to this investigator at all. She lied to my face saying that Anya was driving. Anya's being set up. Well, but you said that there were pictures. So I wouldn't be so sure about I it. I am sure, though. Well, two weeks have passed, and it looks like the police figured out who the guilty party is. Anya is not guilty. Understand? Not guilty? But then, tell me why she is still in prison. They don't just put somebody in jail for nothing, Ira. I believe sometimes they do. And Mrs. Svetlana is looking better. Yes, the test results look good. It seems that she's recovering. <clears throat> you said that she could regain her memory. So when can that happen? I don't know. Maybe next week, maybe next year, and perhaps maybe never. Really? Well, okay. The main thing is that Maxim has me. That's true. He would have had a very hard time without you near. Do you really like him? Very much. I would do anything for him. And then Vika started driving faster, and I asked her to stop, but she just wouldn't listen to stop. me. Stop. Aren't you tired of this lie? Uh. All the evidence points that you were the one driving. You stole the car, and then you almost killed a cop. I'm not lying. It was Vika's fault, not mine. <sighs> My advice to you is that you confess. It'll make it easier for you. But I'm telling you, I have nothing to confess. I'm saying the truth. You tell this to the injured cop, his wife, and his kids. You realize a good man almost died because of you? And God knows how long it'll take for him to recover. I told you I'm not guilty. <gasps> so then who is? <laughs> Guard, come in. Take her away. Please, listen to me. You're lucky the cop is out of a coma now. And remember, the prosecution will demand you get the maximum sentence. Coming. Hello, ma'am. My name is Maxim. Can I see Anya for a minute? No. Oh, where can I find her? Don't you know? No, I don't. What happened? She left home. 
far away and for good. Really? Where's she going? Enough, you hypocrite. Get away from my front gate! You must have misunderstood. My name's Maxim. Anya and I- I said get out of here, because I won't be responsible for what happens. I have nothing to talk to you about! Okay. Allow me, Mom. It's good to be back. Careful. Oh, being stuck in the hospital is no fun. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. It's strange sometimes. I have no feeling on my left side. I've already talked to a massage therapist. He'll help you with that. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Mr. Krasnitsky, I've been waiting for you. Hello. Any news? Is that your new car? It's a corporate car. Oh. I have one question for you. I just can't figure out how Anya Federchuk got the keys to your car. I've checked for her in the databases. She's never participated in a theft. She's got positive reviews from every place she's been. You see, I'm a creative person. When I'm creating, I forget about everything. I could have easily forgotten that I'd left the keys in the ignition. Ah. So tell me, what you're actually saying is that the day that the keys were left in the ignition, the alarm wasn't turned on? Yes, as a creative, this has happened to me before. When I'm brainstorming on a project, my wife has seen me do this. Hmm. Wait, I think I forgot the keys in the car again. <laughs> You see, I told you. Uh, by the way, how's the second policeman? Is he out of the coma? Yes, he's getting better. All the best. Same to you. Mr. Krasnitsky. Huh? You didn't lock it. There, you see? Anton, write this down. My phone is about to die. Dying. I need Gerberis, I need tulips, uh, and I need more carnations. So when's the court hearing? A week from today. Listen, did you tell her Maxim was also involved? No, I don't have the heart to do it. She's in agony as it is. I'm afraid I'll break her heart. You know, I still don't understand one thing. Why did his mother, Investigator Kazanseva, Go through all of the trouble of setting Anya up. Listen, talk to her woman to woman, since you're so sure that Anya is innocent. Yes. You're right, I'll try it. Thank you. 
Hello, Anton. Why do I always have to repeat myself to you? Yes, write it down. I need Carperis. <laughs> Mrs. Cousin Seva, your breakfast Thank is you. ready. <gasps> oh, looks delicious. Well, how are you feeling? <laughs> I feel better today. You are wonderful, my son. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> mm. Listen, I think that last night, I remembered something. And? There was an accident. I was in a car with patrol officers. It was just like a flash. Well, that's amazing. You're regaining your memory. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember anything else? Uh, no, just that. That's okay. <laughs> you and I, well, we have our whole lives ahead of us. We'll yes. manage. I gotta go, Mom. Go, go. <laughs> hmm. Accident. Accident. There was also a girl. Or... Or two girls. Hello, Maxim. So, are you ready to write your thesis? What? Your mom remembered the accident? What'd she say? And nothing else? Yes, of course, that's great. I'll be there soon. Mom, Maxim read that there are some drugs that cause memory loss and memory problems during the day. Well, yes, there are. Why are you so interested? Could you write me a list, please? If the doctor has prescribed them, then Maxim will know which ones they are. <sighs> Vika, what are you talking about? These things are well known. Every student even knows about this. Mom, have you forgotten who our local doctor is? He needs help with his own memory. Okay, maybe you're right. We need to make sure. Well... Ah... <sighs> All of these drugs cause memory problems? Mm-hmm. Taking into account the specifics of Svetlana's disease, some of them are very dangerous for her. They can completely block her memory. All of it. An overdose can create a detrimental effect. You sure? Yes. These drugs can have a strong negative impact. Understand? Anyway, I'm just saying that these drugs are strictly forbidden for her. She should never take them. This list is perfect. Here, take this too. Mom. Take it, it's glucose. See you. See you. Thank you, love. You're gonna help me so much. In an hour? Yes, you're the best. Okay, see you later. I'll send you the list right now.